Yo, Cliffjumper1984, Red Rocks. Next Friday, I do my big video game run. I always usually do a party at my house afterwards where I try and get a band or two to play while we play some video games, have a fire pit, I make some food or buy some food. And I want to do an update, data, yeah, yeah, an update on my video game room since we're trying to have like in a small Atari tournament going on. Some NES games, stuff Bulbasaur. That, what, that's a life size if it was like a level 3? <laughs> 20, Atari 2600 games. Here's my old black model, what they call it, the Darth Vader version. NES stuff, some Game Boy stuff. Old Pac-Man stickers from like the early 80s. If you peel them off, they won't stick anymore. GameCube games, this game's fucking awesome. Bat, Bats and Kytos. I like Mega Man X Command Mission too. PS2 game, regular Xbox games, a Yellow Wing, Super Nintendo, that's my wife's. Uh, what is it? Mario Paint Board, and the mouse is in there. Sega Master System, Light Phaser. We went over a lot of this the last video I did. A Sega Genesis, which player one input doesn't work so well. Uh, two PS1s, the regular model and the slim versions down there. This one sometimes you get it upside down. Uh, empty drawer, I should put something in there. Because I have a lot of room I need to take up. One of the best LCD flat pa uh, flat screen tube TVs, the Sony Tri Tritonton or whatever. I have it hooked up with a three-way connector switch for a couple consoles. That, that one's wired in, of course, to the cable input, but I have the Super Nintendo, the Nintendo, as well as the N64 inside there hooked up to that. Uh, that's the box that holds a lot of my stuff for my Sega Saturn, which we will get to. Atari Flashback 2, that's another Atari console with built-in games and it's a whole bunch of Wii stuff like accessories and GameCube controllers in that box right there and here I've got another TV below and then below that we have Super Advantage, Super Nintendo arcade sticks as well as my Super Nintendo collection in there is a lot of uh, complete in the box games right there but, uh, uh, there's Star Fox and Super Metroid up there yeah, nothing big over there. As well as uh, Donkey Kongas for the GameCube. Now I gotta try and put all this stuff back while I'm doing everything with one freaking hand. And that'll be good. More, more Game, uh, yeah, GameCube NES games over there. Look at that collection. What I have like 245 carts or getting close to that. Anime DVD. Some of my box stuff. Look at this. I have the original box Mega Man. Mario Brothers, Cheatham in 2, that's a long story. Donkey Kong without the game, but I have a box. Top Gun, Marble Madness, there's a game genie over there. Like my shrine, a bunch of stuff I like, 80s stuff, Transformers, Fire Emblem. There's a Game Boy Color in that, the speaker don't work. Famicom games. A signed picture of Hacksaw Jim Duggan. So Pikachu, Pokemon stuff. I got some uh, Transformers with my shelves hanging too, finally. On my G1. A lot of these figures I need to complete. I almost have like the regular uh, 16 Autobots that are on Earth. I think I'm missing. I think Blue Streak yet. I think that's who I'm missing. Some of my other ones from uh, Season 2 and Season 3 of the Gen 1. They're going to get too big to fill this shelf. A lot of these guys need completed too. There's some of the lighting I do for my YouTube work. Oh my god, look at this. It's not a tube TV. Can you believe it? Took this at my Sega Saturn. <laughs> and behind that, there's my Sega Master System collection. I've got a lot of complete and box stuff there. Some, I think one or two may be missing the manual. Uh, and then there's all my regular other cards. Uh, some of these games, like in here, I've got. Oh, uh, God, which is the big one? Uh, Wonder Boy and Monster World. That's my favorite. I think, yeah, that's in there somewhere. Uh, no, never mind. There's Wonder Boy and Monster Land. And that's hooked up to this flat panel tube TV. Look at that Zelda poster. That's badass. It sucks because when I start opening it, I start ripping it. Oh, God. There's another TV. 
hooked up to my PS2. You know, that's cool because it's the only DVD player down here of everything. And I got this PlayStation holder. It's got all my PS1 games in there, which is pretty neat. And I'm eventually going to be putting this whole thing together, doing custom countertops when I get this whole room painted and be able to store other things down there, which is going to be neat. Other things up here. Yo, yo there's a young me right there. Let's not get there. But, uh, yo. I like dinosaurs. Mostly triceratops and stegosauruses and shit like that. My well, wife may be that. I don't know. Whoa, look at that Saint Seiya thing. That's badass. I recently got that. But, you know, we got some anime, DVDs, and VHSs. Some NES accessories. And then you see my Genesis collection. My N64. And... Uh, there's my power pad, my Project Nintendo that has a replacement pin in it that actually isn't working so well right now. Yeah, it's kind of a bummer. That's in pieces, but that's easily putting back together. I've learned how to do that quickly. Uh, we're going to come up over here where I just recently brought down my Wii from upstairs. To hook up to this TV that a buddy of mine gate recently gave me, so that's cool. Budweiser. Hey, they make natty guys. I got this little dinky thing over here. I think I might donate that or do something with that. So yeah, I hope you appreciate this. I got a little update of what happened while the Wii's down here. Because I had two consoles upstairs, but I've been talking about that for a bit. So hey, holler, drink one at me, subscribe, like, and all that fancy stuff. Till next time.